Once you've learned the basic skills of using a power drill, it's important to thoroughly understand all of the various bits and accessories that make your drill such a versatile tool. If you've ever found yourself staring at a wall of drill bits, feeling unsure of which one to buy, then this video is for you. I'm Kirsten Dunn, and this is Dunn DIY. The term drill bit is limited to bits that fit into your power drill and drill holes. These are different from driver bits, which fit into your drill and work as the power tool version of a screwdriver. It's an easy mistake to refer to both groups as drill bits, but knowing the difference will not only help bring clarity to you and the people you're talking to, but it will also make you look like you know what you're talking about. The key to remembering the terms is to attach the appropriate verbs. A driver bit drives screws, while a drill bit drills holes. A spade bit, or a paddle bit, also known as a wood boring bit, is a different kind of drill bit that can be used for wood, plywood, and some plastics. Rather than drilling through the material in a spiral, this bit has a paddle at the bottom with several sharp points and a sharp bottom edge that cuts through the wood as it spins around. Spade bits should only be used for drilling holes perpendicular to the surface. Speed bore max bits, which is an Irwin brand term, are essentially 3D spade bits. Rather than being a paddle shape, they combine the features of a twist bit and a spade bit. The tri-flute design allows the bit to move wood shavings out of the hole for faster drilling. This is very handy on the job site, but maybe not the most important for the average DIYer. Spade bits have various uses, the most obvious of which is that they come in larger sizes than twist drill bits. So if you're drilling a larger hole, a spade bit will be your go-to. Spade bits do come in smaller sizes, and I've learned from personal experience that there are times when drilling a quarter inch hole with a twist bit has resulted in really bad tear out, whereas a spade bit has given me a perfectly clean hole. Despite the fact that the center and side points of a spade bit don't give you a flat bottomed hole, these bits are great for drilling holes partway through material. The times when it's best to not use a spade bit include drilling angled holes, drilling through unique material like metal, concrete, tile, or glass, when drilling a partial hole where the center point of the bit drills all the way through the wood and is visible on the other side, or when trying to make a smaller hole larger. Because the middle point of contact is so important, it's pretty much impossible to make an existing hole larger with a spade bit, unless you have superhuman strength. A larger spade bit, one with three points, takes a little bit more skill than using a twist drill bit. Because spade bits can be larger than twist bits, but have less contact points when getting started, they're more prone to getting stuck or creating kickback for your drill. Protect your wrist from getting tweaked by bracing your arm against the drill while drilling. Start drilling with high speed and light pressure until the bit comes fully into contact with the wood. Once you have contact, more pressure may be needed to drive the bit through the material. If the bit gets stuck and doesn't seem to be making progress, try clearing away wood shavings from the bottom of the bit and then trying again. Just like a twist bit, you can add tape to a bit as a guide for drilling a hole to a specific depth. Applying tape to the surface of the wood will create a cleaner entry for drilling. Clamping your wood onto a scrap piece or drilling until the center point breaks through and then flipping the wood over and drilling from the opposite side are both ways to prevent tear out on the back side. Twist bits are the obvious necessity, but I've found over the years that spade bits are indispensable. Having these in my toolkit has changed the way I design my DIY projects and using them has definitely elevated the quality of my work. Understanding these spade bits just might be the key to unlocking your next creative endeavor.